Hello and welcome to Hack the Dino's Gaming Cast, where we bring you the freshest melons you could ever hope to find at a marketplace. Floppy, what kind of melons do you bring the fine people at Hack the Dino Land today? Ripe ones. Big ripe melons. How do you how do you tell if your melons are ripe? You give them a little slap. Slap. Yep. Squeeze. <laughs> a little slap. A little slap. Squeeze. Nope. You slap them if they sound nice and crisp. Right. They're ripe. Do, do you do you do you use that uh, technique? That um that that I do that water water waterboarding technique? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so Anto still isn't here. Don't know why. Probably because he's ashamed to be seen with such horrible people. Uh, so he is. roped in Jazz. Jazz is here again. Hi, Jazz. Hello. What, what, what do you? What? How do you find good melons? I don't know. No. I, I'm like I'm lost on this now. Sorry. Sorry, I get lost on them all the time. Okay. What's that again? I'm just talking about we're, we're supplying melons to the people of the internet. <laughs> because I like wasn't paying attention. And do you know what? Like, what do you think of this? <laughs> do, you, do you know what NFTs are? Not really. Okay, I good. I don't understand what they are. Well, I've got some to sell you. Uh, but no, I've also they're they're like um they're like like uh, melon. We, they're like digital melons. We're we're selling digital melon M NFTs. Okay. They're non forgettable trinkets. What are we talking about in today's show, Ben? We're talking about non forgettable trinkets. If you'd like a non forgettable trinket, head on over to Hack the Dino and, and be sure to grab our melon picks. They're, they're just pictures, you can, gifts, yeah, gifts of melons. <laughs> Watermelon, wow. <laughs> different side of a watermelon, <laughs> slightly bigger watermelon. NFTs round are ones, dumb. Anyway, ones, little ones, round <laughs> ones, pear shaped ones. Uh, we, we, we're 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 going why through. I Irish with that. <laughs> well, we're not. Neither are you. Uh, we are going through our twenty dollar retro challenge update because there's been some updates. Ooh, we are too. Uh, spoiler: I'm winning. Uh, well, I mean, winning's in the There's eye of the no holder. There's no winning yet, because there is no winning. You can't no. even tell his head, because it's voted who's got the coolest thing. I know, but like, if you have more money, chances of buying the coolest thing are, are highly... Well, it depends on if... What if you spend all your money on a shit thing? Look or a not cool thing? You've seen my games room. You've got some very not cool things in there. I've got some freaking awesome things in there. Mm -hmm. Got a power glove? That's like I said, not cool. I am, oh, how dare you? You're off the podcast. If it was working, if it was not a piece of poop. It does work. I just have to hook it oh, up. No, no, I don't mean time. it doesn't work. In there. I just meant if it worked like it did in have you The used Wizard. One? Have you used one? Yes. It works 100% like The Wizard. No, it doesn't. It, hundred, it totally does. No, it prove doesn't. Me, prove me wrong. Watch The Wizard. I have. Can't do those things. Can do. 100% you can. Nintendo doesn't lie. <laughs> yes, no, correct. Ever. Never. Never? Ever. Um, but we're also talking about uh, 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 a problem we have, a, a, uh, a situation that we found ourselves in, and we're going, what, what the hell? hell? Floppy, what's what the hell? What give, e give us a, a taste, a sampler, before we go into it What the e hell minutes. is uh, a little dive into the eShop and the trash that you can find within mm. such games as... Speaking of finding trash deep within, I'm Ben Rosenthal. Continue. <laughs> Speaking of trash, you can find such games as BDSM, which was, I can't remember now, Big Drunk Satanic Massacre. Cool. Can't wait for that. There's but seriously, a taste. there's a fair bit of tit in this episode. Do you know what's not a bad film? No. Lots of them. The, the fine people who support this show. And those fine people or person goes by the name of Game Boy Games. He does go by that name. Do you know what Game Boy Games does, Floppy? He makes Game Boy Games. He makes games. games. We've got some of the games here. We do. Can I hold the one that's... Hold, tell us about that game, Floppy. Over here, we have his... I think it's his latest one. It's... The floppy game. The floppy game. And do you know what? There's a special little surprise coming up in a Dino More down the track when Anto's back. Stay tuned. Is there? Yeah, there is. Tell us about the floppy game, Floppy. Uh, you can play as, well, me. You can play as Floppy. Yep. Taking on such villainous floppy villains as... Me. Ben. Ben. <laughs> Actually, no, aren't you the villain in it? And Anto. Sorry, yes, as uh, Rogan Josh is pointing out, this is the award-winning... Award-winning. Game of the Year 2022. Game of the, year, game of the Sexy Year. Ga that's right, it's the Goatsy Award. <laughs> it was the Goatsy Award, it was the floppy game. Uh, game Boy Games, creator of Game Boy Games. Not only that, but also this game. 
I have them all. I have them all from Michael Towns. All. I think I have nearly all of them. Scary Maze Game. You can buy that. It's a maze. It's scary. What You'll jump you out get? of your skin. Uh, you can get, if you feel like uh, crying, you can get Bonesy, which oh, is a dog game. Little dog. On the old Game Boy cartridge. You can you can have that in your in your Game Boy. Or, if you want a bit of a walking sim, and you want to live uh, relive the, the time before the, the virus, 2019's Avcon. You can, you can get that. There's special appearance by me. I tell you to uh, sign up to Hack the Dino. And Dan uh, and Brayden. Yep, but who cares about them? Oh, uh, HackTheDino.com. It's all right, they don't watch. Uh, HackTheDino.com for all your Game Boy games. That's right, we've got a link on our website. You can head on over to HackTheDino.com, scroll down to the floppy game or to Game Boy games, click on there, and you too can get either a physical copy or play it for free. Yes, for free. Free on your web browser, as well as many other games developed by Michael Towns. He's, he's a very funny person, very funny man, and is a proud supporter of Hack the Dino, so you should give him all your praise and accolades. Possibly some money. Yes, definitely some money. Do you know what else you can do with your money? Oh, what? You can keep it in your pocket and head on over to hackthedino.com, where we've got all our links, where you can follow us on our TikToks, on our uh, Instagrams, on our Facebooks. Chat snaps. Snap. No, we don't have that because I think that's weird. Like, yeah, nah, not for me. I was just trying to be with the down with the young lingo kids. Well, I mean, your hat's doing that already. You don't need to worry about you, that. I do look 25, don't I? But head on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. You're a funny guy. Uh, a funny head on guy. over to hackthedino.com and, and be sure to sign up for the newsletter. That's right. A newsletter coming out at uh, once a month where I... Uh, Go through some of the news stories that didn't make the show. Speaking of all the young kids and the <laughs> newsletters. <laughs> hey, newsletters are very popular. Very popular. Just no, not, you're talking, you're just thinking not emails, mate. Well, same thing. Anyway, you can see it there on the screen, hackthedino.com. Uh, feel free to leave us a review. You can follow us on TikTok, where I put up almost daily TikToks, the clips of the show. Uh, also, our Retro Game Hunt. We uh, yeah. edit them down and, and put that up there. Uh, plenty of other stuff. Go, go check it out with your eyes, your face, your knees, uh, and, and your toes. Probably not your toes. There's a lot of freaks on the internet. Keep yep. those toes away from the screen. They like knees too. Do they? Is knees a thing now? I think it has been since like the 1830s. Jazz, how do you feel about knees? I don't, I don't have any feelings about knees. A correct answer. Well done. <laughs> a little bit too much extra skin on them. Floppy. Yes, it's mate. It's very uncomfortable when you get the back of your knees sunburnt. When you get your back of your knee, what? When sunburn. the back of your knees get sunburned. Oh, it's yeah, bad. nah, never. That's such a horrible time. Do you know how to? I've not, had that once. Not do that. Don't get sunburned. Be like me and just stay away from the sun. Just stay inside and become a golem. Darkness is your friend. But you should get sun because you need vitamin D. So it's I think true. We should be encouraging people. I get to enough get their vitamin, vitamin D. D ben. ben needs a big old injection <laughs> of vitamin D. I have a big old meat injection of vitamin D every. Uh, Penis! Floppy! <laughs> yes, mate. Uh, we're, we're a part of a bit of a challenge. We are a part of a challenge. Some would call it a retro challenge, which is in theme this show. Sure. Uh, retro challenge. Explain the retro challenge to us, Floppy. What are uh, we doing? What are we so partaking in? Part of the host. So yourself, myself, uh, Braden self, <laughs> and Anto self. Uh, we all got 20 bucks. 20 bucks. $20. 20 bucks to go and purchase... Something that is retro or many things that are retro depending on the price, which means they are 2008 or before. Correct. And we have a whole year to trade up or flip those items, continuing to either purchase or trade, mm -hmm. until at the end of the year, we have something on front of us on the table. Mm -hmm. uh, and the good viewers, the old hackadactyls, will get to vote as to which one of us have traded up to the coolest thing so you can see over on our tiktok and over on our instagram uh all the updates which are going there the videos obviously on tiktok and uh, on reels on instagram as well as photos over on our facebook and instagram with some of the stuff that we're picking up now uh admittedly i've gone a little bit full on into this <laughs> oh dude it is now becomes ben's full-time job <laughs> I'll, I'll leave what I've got till last because there's updates to even me writing this because I went on another little mini hunt today after work. Can I just point out, Townsy in the chat has mm -hmm. said if Floppy gets a sealed copy of Star Wars Bounty Hunter, he automatically <laughs> wins. You know what? Only way I'd ever have one really? is for the retro challenge. Um, so we've each got $20. We each went out uh, early January on our initial hunt. We went out together. Things. Yeah, we did. It was a fun dime. It was dime. a great day. It was a fun dime. 
Uh, and we, uh, we, we'll do something similar again, or probably not all together because work interferes, but we'll find a time to go out and Apparently record Apparently interfere with your hunting. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to find time to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it in. Not going to go there either. Uh, anyway, so Brayden Vitamin has... D again? <laughs> Brayden uh, has been out uh, previous to our hunt. Uh, I think in our first hunt, he picked up a Sonic, a Sonic Comet, Comet for $5. Flipped, yeah, uh, and he flipped it for a decent amount, didn't he? Has he sold it? I did, oh, I don't, I'm not, not sure if they sold it. Or he was expecting it. to. We looked at the, so the comps. To. So when I refer to comps, the comparisons that on eBay. And comparatively, this comic has sold for around $50 to $60. That's, yep, cool. So if Brayden can flip that, he'll be boosted right up there. And if there's anyone that can sell comics, it's them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but kind of Brady job. also came across a Commodore 64 box and manual of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That is cool. And he got that, I think, for $2 or something like that. Uh, but what I found adorable was he went, oh, Ben, do you know anyone who wants to buy this? <laughs> and Ben said, <laughs> and I went, me. Yeah, no, it wasn't me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know a guy. So <laughs> I got on the phone to my friend and said, hey, this, 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 for this much. And he went, yep. I'll do it. So, Braden's first sale for, for ten dollars was uh, the game that I helped him sell. But he's well, they've already got they've also got Kingdom Hearts for the PS2. Yeah, I think which is a popular game. Like, it is. We all know Kingdom Hearts, especially for three dollars. They got it for three bucks, and the first edition of the book Half Blood Prince for a dollar. Yeah, the first edition of any books is going to be worth something more than a dollar. Not that one, because any books. It's um, the first edition. It doesn't matter to some people. But there's millions of that book printed. Like the first three, the first three had a Harry Potter books. If you get first editions of them, yeah, big money. But the others, mm. nah. There's, there was the most. Is it going to be worth more than a dollar? Uh, someone might buy it for five. Then, yeah. Then it's it's, well, it's, it's a bonus. It's, it's five times the money spent. Yeah. So we'll see how Braden goes with their sales. Uh, I've yet to get an update on anything. I'll, I'll have to drop them a line and say, hey, how's, how's all things going? What about Anto? What's Anto going Anto on? Anto picked up a strategy guide for Diablo 2. Which from, he got on like, that. Very early on our, first, uh, on our first hunt around the place on that day. Uh, has been a bit ill and is now yes. busy with being El Presidente. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't think has managed to flip it yet. But considering that we got Diablo 4... Mm-hmm. This way, and Diablo 2 itself got remastered or something, I think. I recently. believe so, yep. Uh, he shouldn't have too much of a trouble getting rid of it, I reckon. Especially for what, the $3 that, that he yeah, paid? Spent yeah, spent three bucks on it. So, you know, not bad. It's good. What about you, Floppy? How are you Ooh, going? On our day out, I picked up some VHS. I picked up three VHS. I picked up a uh, Top Gun mm-hmm. in a cardboard sleeve. Mm-hmm. I picked up uh, the 1990s live action set in New York, Beauty and the Beast pilot so episode which was a movie thing in a clamshell in a clamshell and I picked up a Jackie Chan Fearless Hyena d- uh, DVD Pff, not even uh, I was about to say Blu-ray then not <laughs> even VHS and I have since traded them all for a, so I spent nine bucks mm-hmm. nine or I ten spent, no I spent nine I, I added up wrong oh wow okay. it was five three and one wow <laughs> maths again yeah where's this ugly head uh and I've traded them all for a pretty minty copy of Street Fighter the Anniversary Collection on original Xbox with the animated film. Nice. Manual, everything in there. So if there's anyone out there that's uh, that's keen on some fighting Actually, games, while you're hit me up. going on about that, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Sure. So I haven't sold it yet. So updates are a bit slim. But, you know, if you're out there and you're a Street Fighter fan, oh, Townsie's decided he's going to trade me a DVD copy of Legend of Chun-Li. Already own it, mate. Oh Sorry. wait, is that the and one? And I've got Double Dragon from... on DVD too. So sorry, is that sorry, the one man. with the girl from Smallville? It's from Smallville. I never watched Smallville, but if Christine it was the Perry, Legend of Chun Li was um, yes, it is. Uh, okay. uh, there you go. Cool. Did you have you watched that one, Jazz? No, but I wanted to see it, and then I just never watched it. I'll lend it to you. Okay. Yes, there you played go. Lana. She and you can also have the Double Dragon DVD that Ben keeps no, giving me. No, that's a gift, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'll gift it on. <laughs> <laughs> Re-gift it. Uh, so, uh, you've, you've gone through what you've got going? Yeah, I'd finish that before you left. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I just threw you in the deep end? Yeah, a little bit. Because I wasn't organised? Yeah. Uh, so I have go- still got from the initial pickup uh, the WWE DVD <laughs> board game. No one's buying that. Uh, I bought it for $3. I thought I could sell it really quickly, but... Turns out I can't. Nope. So if I've still got this after the toy fair, I'm going to cash converters. 
<laughs> and I just want my three bucks back. <laughs> they won't give you three bucks for they it. They will. I bet you they, they won't. They have sold online for 15, 20 bucks. If I go, give me three bucks, I'll go, yeah, right. They better. I know people at Cashies. I'm going to warn them. No. <laughs> uh, so I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. I'll go with what I've got left before I go into what I've actually sold. So I found uh, this on my latest hunt, which I believe I've just put up today, the video. Uh, it is a pack of Donkey Kong e-readers for the Game Boy Advance e-reader. So what you used to do with these floppy mm -hmm. is you got a pack of five cards and they're all the same. And you put your e-reader into your Game Boy Advance and scan the cards one after the other when prompted. And then once you'd scanned them all, you could play the original Donkey Kong. So it's DLC. Basically, in card form. So this is still sealed. DLC. I uh, came across three packs. There was two Donkey Kongs and a tennis. All so right. I bought one of the Donkey Kongs and one of the tennis for my personal collection. And then the double, that's gone in the retro hunt. Uh, so that is currently for sale for $25, which I'm making a profit on if I can move it on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Hit us up if you want some of that action. Uh, and I'm not sure if you're selling the e-reader or something else there. No. Nah. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. I also, in my initial hunt, uh, got WrestleMania 9 uh, for $5 and managed to sell that on eBay. Um, you did, didn't you? And got, I think, $16 for it in the end. So not quite as much as you were predicting. No, because I looked at the post sale of the comps and they were like up around 40. And I thought, oh, wow. But no one was biting. So I just put it up. Because all those 10 people that wanted it already got it. <laughs> and, you know, so yeah, whatever. Uh, but then today I went out and got WrestleMania 1 and WrestleMania 2. Uh, I've already sold WrestleMania 2 uh, to a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. They're going to buy it for $20. So $20 up on that one. Well, I'm not going to say how much I bought for that one. And WrestleMania 1, the comps on eBay for that one, I cannot find any that are under $99. Now, I'm not expecting to get $99 for it. I'm expecting maybe $20, $30. But the fact that there's a chance, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry, but Townsie in the chat has once again put in a Too Fast, Too Furious <laughs> reference with Too Wrestle, Too Mania. How do you keep coming up with these? Oh, Dylan and Villain in the chat said he wanted uh, WrestleMania. Well, Dylan, if you've got $90... <laughs> I'm kidding. It's 80 uh, Off from 10 And then today I also picked up this. This 1983... This next level. Admiral Akbar on card. And I've already sold it. <laughs> I put it up and I had one of my friends message me straight away. I go, yeah, I'll have that. So, uh, and Ben said... Please don't. Well, it's a trap. I mean, I showed it off in uh, a host Discord and I said, hey guys, check it out what I just got. And uh, Floppy went, oh, is that for the retro thing? And I went, oh, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I might be keeping it. Um, but no, it, it's like, it's seen better days. But this is 40 years old. That's pretty unreal. 40 hey? years old. 1983 this came out. So to be still in a packet at that age, I think is pretty it's spectacular. It's weird that the top is chopped off. Yeah, some kids. I wonder obviously. why you would have done that. I dare say it's some kids, and they've chopped it off so they could have it on display or something. Um, but still, that's pretty cool. So uh, I also got, and this was this was the big one. This was the one that I was really really happy with, and you can see this over on our TikTok or over on our Instagram. Uh, I was at the Brighton Markets, which is a bi-weekly, uh, bi-monthly, bi-monthly, every two weeks. Uh, market where people just like big car boot sales. They bring mm. the cars down, open up, sell their junk from home. I was walking along. I met up with uh, Pontip there, who is old Trenchy on YouTube, a fellow collector. Jeez, uh, you think I get good bargains? Just see what he gets. Uh, walking along, and I saw on this car bonnet this bed cover, <laughs> and it was Return of the Jedi, and it was Return of the Jedi bed cover from 1983. That's pretty awesome. Knowing King Kaiju like I do... I know, I was going to say. Bed covers actually have a bit of value because I've seen people come up to him and ask him to buy the bed covers off his table. So he comps. uses them for ta tables at... Uh, and he's got Transformers, Voltron, yeah. Pokemon. He's got really cool ones that he finds. So I thought, oh, I wonder how much that is. You know, thinking 20 bucks. Eh. Went up to him and said, oh, how much is it? And I went, oh, five bucks. All right, yep, cool. Done. Done, grabbed it. Cool. I'll take two. Good job. That had good colors, good everything. I sold it for $60 two days later. <laughs> this, is why, this is why all the footage you've seen has been... <laughs> <laughs> because I am just... Uh, A machine. I, look, I just love it. I love it so A much. A reselling machine. <laughs> what I really like is the fact that I 
so when I used to go out, I only searched for my collection. So it was Nintendo stuff or it was, you know, cards or something that I actually wanted. Yeah. Um, now that I'm out there doing stuff for this... So hold, like, you're seeing a whole different side of things, aren't you? I am. I'm going, oh, I wonder how much I can get for that. Oh, I wonder how much... Oh, do I have a buyer for that? And like getting on and, and checking eBay and I'm being one of those awful people. Um, but it's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun because it's not my career it's good not, to be bad I'm not reliant on it yes. like it's just purely a hobby and this is an excuse to get it and um, once I get paid for the items I have there my kitty will be at um, where is it I had it here I think I worked it out I'm going to have $145 or thereabouts in my kitty once I get 20 paid. bucks like three weeks ago. 20 bucks three weeks ago, I'm up to $145 and I've still got stuff that I need to sell. It's pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So It is funny watching the competitive streak I'm super come competitive. out. Like, so, I didn't realize, I knew you were competitive. Like, I didn't know you were this competitive. Does it, does it, does it all of a sudden make uh, sense why people at karate don't want to spar with me? <laughs> I mean... Because I want to win. Because you always want to win? Yep. I'll admit when I get lost, but you're wearing some. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't. If I'm going down, <laughs> you're, you're going some. down with me. Uh, yeah, so uh, pretty pretty happy with that. Um, to the fact that I've got that. Now, I have told Floppy what my overall goal is. I think I mentioned it in the Discord once or twice. But if you want to find out what I'm aiming for at the end of the year, I do have a goal in mind. It's a Sign one up. hell of a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> Sign up to our uh, newsletter. I've mentioned it in there, in the retro challenge update that I've got in the newsletter, the monthly uh, uh, regroup. I uh, have mentioned there what I'm aiming for at the end of the year. What? What? I just read Townsy's comment. He's like, when you've said what you're in, you're aiming for, and he's like, oh Ben, I'll hang out in a spa with you. <laughs> <laughs> so nice, Townsy. No. What a nice guy. No. No more. Uh, no, I'm not going to go. Anyway, uh, so that, that's that's fun. That's that's a good time. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, hope you all enjoy it. Be sure to head on over to hackthedino.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, all the stuff. Stuff and things. Floppy. Yes, mate. What e hell? What e hell? What e hell is the topic of the show this week? Uh, so this came about with a conversation between yourself. You had a you had a bit of an idea, and I was like, yeah. I want to do that as a topic. So this is what e hell. This is what the hell is going on in the e shop. E shop being Nintendo's online store. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done a deep dive, delve. You don't even need a deep dive. <laughs> or have, if you ever opened the e shop and scrolled down two pages, there is some weird stuff on there. And I I took one for the team. Mm -hmm. I've done a deep dive and I've picked out some weird stuff. Now, I will say, there is some content in here not appropriate for youngins. Just saying. Mm, mm, mm. So, if you've got young kids watching, mm. maybe contemplate putting an episode of Bluey on. Something no, no. in another room. No, just, just get them to close their eyes and they can pretend it's a podcast, which you can subscribe to over at <laughs> hackthedino.com or any podcast app where you listen to words. But yeah, uh, and I will say that none of this is on here because we think it's good. No. This, all of this stuff on is on here because it is Funny. what e hell. What e hell is going on. All right, so number one, straight off the bat, we're coming off strong. Suicide guy. Oh, good. Not on here for the reasons you think. Uh-oh. So this is $1.50. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's set in the dreams of the protagonist. Uh, you must wake up to save your beloved one. There are 25 levels. It is a story-driven game with physics-based puzzles, ultimate moves, funny creatures, vehicles, collectibles, all to be found all around the place. Uh, despite the title, has nothing at all to do with suicide or depression. <laughs> Which is weird. Which S E O S E O S E O because if it's not uh, a deep dive into you know and, and it's a thought provoking say narrative driven game about suicide or depression which there are games out there like that if it's not one of those why would you choose to put it as the title of your game S E O S E O S E O I don't know what that means stop it search engine search engine optimizer oh okay mm -hmm. uh, 
Do you think it works, eh? Or is it limiting the audience because people would see that and be like, I'm not playing that? I have seen this game on the eShop numerous times for $1.50 and I've gone, I'm not playing that. I'm more interested now that I know that it's not about that. Yeah. Well. It's weird. Um, so these descriptions that you're reading, are they from the actual eShop description? Some of them are, I have done word for word. Some of them I have quickly jotted down, say, points or done my own. Okay. Google. Whenever yeah. you come across a word for word one, please tell us. Okay. All right, cool. Most of that one was excerpts okay. from the actual description. Excellent. Okay, what's next? <laughs> next one is one of those ones we were chatting about before. Now, I had to find footage for this that was not as revealing as it could have been. So the footage for this... Your YouTube search history sucks now. <laughs> oh, my God. You have no idea. I was thinking about that halfway through. We really need a burner account so we can so, look up these things. Jazz, we can put this on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jazz says, Jazz. Floppy is now on a list. You know what? 100%. Uh, this game is $10 on the eShop, and it's called Waifu Uncovered. <laughs> Uh, you can even skip forward because it's a long video. It's just gameplay video. But this is a censored version, so it gets worse. Uh, the tagline to this We've is... We've played this game! What? Dan made Braden and I play this game. Oh, my gosh. It's a shmup. Yes. And as you shoot them, you shoot off their clothes. Yes, but do you know why? No. I bet you don't. So destroy the clothes, save the waifus. <laughs> of course! Eight beautiful maidens are under threat of alien attack. And the lives and fate of the world now rest in your hands. This I is bet somebody else is word. resting in their hands as this well. Is this is word for game. word from the uh, <laughs> from the, <laughs> the the description in Egypt. Build as a simple yet rewarding shoot 'em up. You advance three levels to undress your waifu to save them from infection. Oh no! No! What is going yep. on there? Just turn that off. <laughs> that was the safe version I had to find. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I didn't flick through all of it and didn't notice that bit. That was a rocket. Uh, I'd just like to say, what the fuck is wrong with you people? So I immediately bought this for research purposes <laughs> only. <laughs> I didn't. I did not buy this. Uh, yep. What e hell? What e hell? <laughs> what e hell is going on? Uh, once again, I had to search to find a safe version. Holy crap. That was a safe version. I waded through some uh, not safe versions to find one. But yes, next one is a little less crass, a little more boring. Good, my type of game. And a full $18, I might add, this next game is Battle Calculator. This is almost as good as Alarm Clock, the game. <laughs> yeah, this is a game fun to play together and uses your brain a little. Actual description from the eShop. Your calcu it uses your brain a little. Your calculation skills, knowledge of functions and reflexes will be tested. Use zero to nine. Make numbers <laughs> within 600 seconds by using the four arithmetic operations. Aim for a faster time. What are you doing? What's the point? No, that's it. You've just got to be the quickest at making numbers. And, and they give you a final number and kind of like um, Countdown, the British TV show, you've got to come up with the equation to make the number. But, but, but it's a calculator, know? so you can do like one times whatever the number is. <laughs> <laughs> you found out a cheat. <laughs> oh. Battle calculator. I don't know where the battling comes in really. I'm assuming there's a multiplayer aspect. Um, once again, I've bought it, so I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> $18. Yeah, 18 bucks, mate. That is an $18 game. That costs more than Waifu Uncovered. Do you know what's better than that? What's that? Barcode Battler. No, because that was cool. That was that very was cool. when you scanned barcodes. I've actually got you one. got one. I I've remember I was there, there when you bought it. Yeah. No, you won't. Pretty sure I was. No, you won't. Because I was there by myself. Pretty sure I was there later that day. You probably were. That's where the same day I also got a almost complete game.com collection for $20. <laughs> Yes. I only need three more games and I've got the full run of that system. That's pretty cool. Boxed. That's unreal. Anyway, what's the next game? Uh, next game. Little, now, this is a long description because it is dumb. Is this word for word? Word for word. This is a game called Vroom in the Night Sky. Well, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It is $12. Now, just watch the, watch the footage as you play through it. 
and listen to the words they used to describe it. Vroom in the Night Sky is a magical bike action game. Cool. The features of this game are fantastic feeling, <laughs> speedy feeling, and realistic feeling using HD vibration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> speedy, realistic, fantastic. Uh, no, no. It's and just Superman no. 64, but looks Correct. a lot better. Correct. <laughs> The magical gate is floating in the night sky. In order to open the gate, you need to collect the necessary number of key stars floating in the night sky. By collecting key stars faster and entering the gate, you can get more stardusts. By manipulating the motorcycle technically, the number of stardusts you can get increases. Try various actions and challenges to collect stardusts. By using the collected stardusts, you will be able to get a new magical bike. If you get a powerful magical bike, you may be able to move... More easily collect <laughs> stardusts. You get points if you tell me how many times I said freaking stardusts. Tell me y- you put all your faith in Google Translate without telling me you, <laughs> you put, put all your faith, faith in Google, Google Translate. Translate. Um, so, I, I mean, I love the fact that they, they go about the speedy feelings, the fantastic feelings, the rip-roaring velocities that you reach on this incredibly, incredibly slow... <laughs> An unresponsive bike. <laughs> that it really is. My first thought was, huh, Superman 64. Yep. Look at you flying through the rings. Looks a lot better than uh, Superman 64, though. Yeah, but it hasn't got Superman, so it loses something as well. <laughs> uh, how much is that? $12. Uh, Good. $12. Oh, floppy. Jesus. Wait. This is what e hell, Ben. All right. What e hell? All right. That's fine. Go, go Hentai ahead. versus evil. You know what the dumbest thing about this game is? No hentai. Once again. Oh, what? Title. It's in the title. No hentai. S-E-D- I, what is that? It is a scantily clad person. Once again, I had to search for the safe ones. <laughs> <laughs> There's, that's the safe one? Yeah. Rescue anime girls from hordes of demons and zombies. Kill zombies and slay demons with a dash of naughty flavor to spice things up. Uh, demons have invaded the city. You can skip forward if you would like, Jazz, to go yeah, to the gameplay. Uh, suburbs and even the beaches. They are turning residents into zombies and throwing cute girls into cages. This is word for word, by the way. <laughs> Save them. Have them join your ranks and destroy evil while looking good. Customize your girls with different outfits or less. Oh, but this is it. It is a third-person shooter. That's all you do. That's the whole game. You can have this for 15 bucks. $15 to, to play that. If anyone out there in uh, Hack the Dino Land uh, uh, has floating toy boxes um, or <laughs> bought this game, uh, feel free to drop us a line and tell us why. What the L? What the L? Uh, what E hell? What E what, whatever, hell? Whatever, whatever we're calling back to. Do that. That's awful. Would you like to read out the title of the next game, Ben? Trust me, read it out. The next game that Floppy picked for What E Hell is a game called BDSM for $30. Which stands for Big Drunk Satanic Massacre. All right, can I I read this out? Yes, you can, please. $30. Big Drunk Satanic Massacre. Get some milk. Kill the traitors. Save hell and rescue the hottest demonesses from the clutches of nasty people and mega corporations as Satan's son, Lou. (laughs) Four lep... Four levels representing different areas of hell. Six weapons. Wow, six weapons. Six weapons to choose from. One magical ability and the healing power of milk. Yeah, milk is your healing power. You you drink milk. I wonder if that's a... As uh, Satan's son. Euphemism. Lou. (sighs) But skip forward about to this one. It is ridiculous. This is $30. 30 bucks. But they're really, really banking on... On an on a, on a acronym for BDSM. Man, $30. If I had $20 more, dollars, I could buy Shrek on the GameCube at our local Savers. <laughs> oh, oh, so ben, this is it. Ben, BDSM, yeah, this is it. It is essentially Diablo. Oh, God. Shooter. Like, it's a, it's a asymmetric... Well, isometric, sorry. Uh, run and gun shooter. As Lou... The, so it's really, really... They're really banking on, like you said, that uh, that search engine and that uh, that title pulling people in. Jesus Christ! For Christ. a cruddy game, but I, like at least make it so people would think about buying it. I, I wouldn't buy this for thirty bucks. Not for thirty. You know what? I might actually buy that for like five bucks. Really? 
I want to be Lou, the son of Satan, who gains health by drinking milk. That sounds fun. It doesn't sound thirty dollars fun. It doesn't sound thirteen dollars fun. No. What e hell? What e hell? What e hell? All right, we're finishing on a high with cannibal cuisine. You ever played Overlooked? A what? Uh, not over- Overcooked. Overcooked, yes, I have. Now you can play Overcooked as well. A little bit of cannibal thrown in. All right, yeah. <laughs> this is $19.50. This is more like it. Would you like to read this out? Because this is, I believe this was all one for one word from the uh, thing too. Okay, from the second point there? For after $19.50. Okay, here we go. A chaotic couch co-op cooking game with a cannibal twist. One to four players hunt tourists through jungles, temples, and volcanoes to feed the cannibal gods. Fine. Dining. <laughs> God, that is one of my jokes. It really is. The God Honcho Boo, whatever. Hoochoo Boo. Hoochoo Boo is hungry for you. But as all good cannibal cooks know, serving is better than being served. Tour the island. Ready, steady, cook your way through 20 plus levels in a full campaign across the island. <laughs> Visit the jungle, temples, beaches, and a lava delicious volcano. Oh my god, you sound like you're on prices, right? Other foodly activities to appease Honchu Boo. Hoochu Boo. You need to do more than cook. Outrun the spiky log of doom, trademark. <laughs> Defeat waves of tourists. And the tour boss in the jungle area, and beat other challenges to prove yourself. There you go. If you if, can, we skip forward a little bit, Jazz, to see if we can find some of the gameplay instead of a cutscene. Oh, why does it keep showing that menu? There we go. So it's essentially overcooked cannibalist. Cannibal, cool. cannibal, like, it really is. It is literally an overcooked clone. So where, where's the humans that you're killing? Well, I'm going to go somewhere near that big pile of blood that was on there and got turned into steaks. Oh, cool. 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 Good. And I'm Good thinking time. that's Hoochoo Boo. Oh, they attack you. That's not fun. Yeah. Well, they're not supposed to resist. But uh, cannibal overcooked. What e hell? What e hell? What e hell? So that was our first ever what e hell, our little deep dive into... The trash that appears on the uh, the eShop. Something you might look at again, I reckon. Down the line. Down yeah. the line. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Have a I've, I've, having done a little deep dive the last couple of days, there's a veritable treasure trove <laughs> of, of sections in there for that. Do you know what else is a treasure trove? <laughs> Townsy in the chat has said, cheers for filling my wish list. <laughs> Your wish.com list. Yeah. <laughs> it's now time for... Deals! Floppy? Yes. You got some deals? I do have some deals. I didn't go so big on the deals, especially on the Switch, because we've also we just had about 10 <laughs> delicious deals. <laughs> delicious deals for the, for for the Switch. e Um But yeah, first deal up on the PlayStation. At the moment, you can get Doom Eternal the Deluxe Edition. Uh, this is normally twenty, uh, normally 99 bucks, mm-hmm. down to 25 buckaroos. Uh, so Doom Eternal is the relaunch. I don't know one. why. I wish, why did I have a video? Why? I, for some reason, I found a video of the Switch edition. <laughs> Not sure why. That's my fault. Oh well. Uh, this gives you the full game and the full year one pass. That's um, all right. How much? For twenty five bucks. It's pretty good. Doom Eternal was great, and it had a banging soundtrack. It was so a great soundtrack. Real good yeah. soundtrack. Lots of gore and blood and what dots and over the top violence as it should do because it's a Doom game. Did you get the Doom guy in the latest season pass at Fortnite? I have. Isn't that cool? Yes. Did you get his glider? His glider's great. I don't know if I've got a glider yet. I'm still working my way through the battle pass. Okay, the glider's the... Oh, I must have. The big ball monster. Yes, no, I got that that first. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got that first. Um, So you can see on the screen here like random footage in other languages. (laughs) Yeah. Which is what every gamer wants to see. Buckle up, gamers. skip through to the middle. Uh, and then we've got, yeah, Doom Eternal. That is the Switch version. It does look much better on the PS4. Don't know why I got, got that. Probably still had Switch stuff in the search Pastels. bar. Mm-mm. But yes, uh, Doom Eternal, great fun if you're into some first person demon slaying fun. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, second game on the PlayStation uh, store is Sniper Elite V2. Uh, so this is the remastered version of the 2012 game. 
Uh, full game plus all the DLC where you play a sniper in World War Two. Uh, normally forty seven bucks, down to four dollars eighty. Does it come with the really cool plastic peripheral? No, it does not. Which I have and sells for stupid money for no, some reason. It did not. But it did come with I'm pretty sure uh, like the kill Hitler mode. Sweet. Like the little mini game. I like that in um, Wolfenstein, the original Wolfenstein. Yeah. You kill Hitler and then he comes back in a robot suit. Yeah, absolutely. Kill him again. And um, coming over to Game Pass, there's two games we've actually already talked about, but I didn't even realize that they were in there because <laughs> I did this first. Uh, Hi-Fi Rush is out on Game Pass today. As um, we record this. As we, as we record this, sorry. Yep. Game Pass for PC and console. And, and console. Cool. Uh, which was the Jet Set Radio slash Sunset Overdrive game that's been released from Bethesda? Published by Bethesda. No, no, published, 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 published. Published by Bethesda. Yep. And also Goldeneye, which we talked about because <laughs> I played it. Yeah. Wicked. Ba-dum, ba-dum, so this is how it looks. Ba-dum. It looks real crisp, but without losing the 1990s visuals. Yeah. See Box what I mean? Heads. Like, How good does that look? Oh, man. We had so much fun playing this. We need to play it like this because I might have no. a chance because I can see stuff. No, nah, no, nah, we're not doing that. Unless I get to do proximity mines. No. Why not? Because it's not fun then. It is a lot of fun for me. Yeah, but for only you. <laughs> well, that's all that matters. I accidentally, on my first run through of the thing, I accidentally got too excited and shot um, Trevelyan. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yep, failed. I was like going down to, to, yeah, just shot him. Well, I mean, it's Sean Bean, so you go, whoa, he has well, to he's die. He's supposed to die, yeah, isn't he? Like, everywhere. He's supposed to die in the first 10 minutes of everything. Uh, but yeah, that is deals for today. Well, you know what time it is? Jazz? Jazz, yes. you're ready to quiz. Yes. Uh, I have four multiple choice questions with four possible answers. I will read out a question once at a time, and then it's up to whomever is at the dino desk this week to yell out their name if they know the answer or if you just want to take a guess. Uh, if they get it right, they get a point. If they don't, it goes over to the other person for a free hit. Uh, as of last week, because all the scores reset and floppy mm. after leading all of last year, you lost it right at the end. To that Anto. was so ridiculous. Uh, so we have Anto on zero because Anto hasn't been here. We've got Floppy on one and Brayden in the lead on two. I'm going to laugh so hard if Brayden's still in the lead after this. You know what? You can because I'll be doing a bit of crying. <laughs> All right, Jazz, you, uh, any questions? You, you're confident? No. You, you know how this works? I think so. Good. All right, here we go. Do you know, oh, Jazz, so do you know that if you, you have to wait till the last one and then yell out your name to answer? Yep. Here we go. Question number one. Raiden from Metal Gear Solid 2 was almost going to A. Be naked the whole game. B. Revealed as Solid Snake's son. C. Lick bird droppings. Or D. Be revealed as the God of Thunder. Jazz. Jazz? Is it B? His B? son? Be revealed as Solid Snake's son? No. Floppy. A. Be naked the whole game? Yep. No. Wasn't it? The correct answer is lick bird droppings. Get out of town. Raiden was going to lick bird droppings in Metal Gear Solid 2. Why? I don't know. (laughs) Raiden likes poop. Why? Because Kojima, that's why. I I love those games, but Kojima, you're screwing me because you're too freaking weird. (laughs) Oh... Okay, question number two comes from Dylan the Villa. Oh, okay. Joe's prepared to be bamboozled. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dylan the Villain has made it his life goal to stump Floppy and Anto and whoever else is playing this game at every opportunity. Which he has. He has done. A couple of times now. A mm-hmm. couple of times. Let's see if that trend can continue with this question. I think he will because it's so abstract. <laughs> okay. But he assures me that he's done this. Okay. The Crackdown games are notable for the insane amount of collectibles to collect. How many are there between the three games? A, 2,480. B, 2,580. C, 2,680. Or D, 2,780. Floppy. Floppy? D. D, 2,780? Yep. Incorrect. Oh, I thought it would just be the most. Jazz is guessing C. C is correct. <laughs> Damn it, I'm not winning again. <laughs> so now Jazz is drawing with Floppy. I remember having conversations with Dylan the Villain 
Yep. Uh, when we used to hang out after work. Um, about Crackdown and how fun it was. Yeah? Yeah. That was around the time that number three was getting uh, released or, or worked on or something like that, I think. Um, cool. Next one. Michael Towns. Patreon supporter Michael Towns. Here we go. As Michael Towns does, this is a novel. Of course. The Nintendo 64 fighting game, Dual Heroes, contained a plot where the continents of Earth were reshaped and reformed into new countries after an alien invasion. Very lazily named ones. <laughs> such as the character, Julie Hailing, uh, sorry, such as the character, Julie Hailing from Neo Tokyo, the unfortunately named Ho being from Pong Kong, Poor boy. <laughs> just just throwing in that casual racism, aren't we? Yeah. As well as... A. Corey from Queensland. B. Barry from Winston, Auslandia. <laughs> C. Ho Jr. from Hobart. Or D. Hannah from South Australia. No time. one wants to have a guess. <laughs> in your own time, guys. Floppy. Floppy. What was what was B again? Like it matters. Uh, Barry from Wiston, Auslandia. No, nah, I can C. C? Ho I can't remember what it was. Ho Jr. from Hobart? Yes. Is incorrect. Oh. <laughs> Jazz? Is it A? Sorry? Is it A? A, Corey from Queensland? No. It's Hannah from South Australia. <laughs> okay. What the hell, man? So, uh, you and Jess are still tied on one apiece. Uh, Braden's still leading. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to be on bottom. Here we go, question number four. <laughs> the original sequel to Street Fighter, titled Street Fighter 89, is now known as A, Street Fighter 2010, B, Fighting Street, C, Street Fighter 2, or D, Final Fight. That, why does this seem like such a trick question? I don't know. Can you read the question again? Please? The original sequel to Street Fighter. Yes. Titled Street Fighter 89. Right. Is now known as. Right. So it was being developed as a sequel to Street Fighter oh. called Street Fighter 89. Yep. However, that game is now known as one of these. Floppy? Floppy? Is it Final Fight? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh, thank God. I. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> So well done, end, Jazz. At the end of that round, we have uh, Anto on zero, Jazz on one, Braden on two, and Floppy on two. So you're equal first. Too bad Braden's back next show. What? No, he's not. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> but we have been Hack the Dino. This has been our gaming cast, where we bring you the uh, past, present, and future of video games, news, previews, and discussions. But we couldn't be doing this without our beloved Patreons. Floppy, yes, why don't mate? you tell us about our Patreons? Well, they're wonderful people. They are. They're fantastic people. They uh, they help us out. They support us. They, they support do. the show. They do. By watching. Yep. By sharing. And they have names. They do. What are those names? Um, that is, I would like to say thank you to Ash Knight, Karen Knight, Dylan the Villain, Triple Indy, Mike Towns, Game Boy Dad. Game Boy Dad. And if you would like your name read out to us or see your name or whatever scrolling it's along the bottom of, of the screen that you can see there for all the people watching on youtube.com backslash hack the dino or twitch.tv backslash hack the dino, you can go to hackthedino.com. Click on the little P right up the top <laughs> and be part of our Patreon patronage parade. Uh, for as little as a dollar a month, you can get access to our exclusive Patreon Discord where you can do such fun things as uh, watch me come second in our fantasy critic again and, and lose my crap. Uh, and also get ex <laughs> exclusive access to Brayden because Brayden doesn't talk anywhere but in, <laughs> in, in the Discord. Patreon. In the Patreon Discord, not yeah, the regular one. Not the regular so one. you want to talk to Brayden, come on into the Patreon Discord. But if you don't have any money to help out and throw away, not a problem. Uh, you can help us by telling a friend or two. Uh, you can tell it by sharing some of our videos, liking our videos, leaving us a review on Spotify or on uh, Instagram or on any podcast apps, leaving a, uh, a five-star review and a comment. And if you leave a five-star review and a nice comment, we'll read them out on the show because we're nice. We are. Not, well, no, we're nice. Yep. We're good people. I try to be. That's a lie. <laughs> I go actively out of my way to screw everyone over at every opportunity. 
Speaking of screwing everyone over, uh, some Patreons are going to be getting a special little Dino More. So in our hot little hands... I don't know floppy. if you can tell, but this is actually a 20-sided die. It is. It's a D20. Floppy and I have D20s. Jazz, do you have a D20 in your hand? Yes. Yeah. What colour is it? Blue. Jazz Blue. has got a D20. We've got D20s. In our Dino More exclusive post show, which uh, Patreons at specific levels can either watch live and join in or watch later on as a VOD, we're going to be doing Vod. something called a role-playing story. Choose your own dungeon. Never been done before. And it hasn't really been thought of. It's something I came off with the top of my head. I'm going to play around with it. If it works, I'll workshop it a bit more. If it doesn't, we'll never speak of it again. But if you want access to that, head on over to hackthedino.com, click on the Patreon, join us, come in, be, be fun, have, have a good time, and uh, give us high fives, the crispest of high fives. Do it. But Floppy, this isn't all we do. No, it's not. What, what do you do? Uh, menace to society. Yep. Do you, do you, do you post anything? Oh, well, I do. I post all my menace to society goings on on Instagram. Yep. Do you uh, want to let the police know about where that is? Well, No. I wish I okay, I won't talk to I do another Instagram too. It's called okay. Floppy Plays good, Games. Good, good. Uh, it's where I post all of my pickups, finds, games that I like, things that I love mm. related to gaming. Yep. Uh, one of my latest ones yeah. was I got a pickup this week with um, Code Veronica mm-hmm. for the PS2, mm-hmm. which is one of the Resident Evil games that I need for my Resident Evil collection. Nice. And uh, Manhunt. Manhunt. On PS2. The dating sim? Sure. Cool. Cool. <laughs> uh, I also do stuff over at Instagram. Uh, in, in fact, uh, if Jazz was at the screen, she could probably type in Instagram.com backslash Mr. Benjamin <laughs> to bring up my Instagram Subtle. so we could see it. I mean... I've got Miss... Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so I put on there all of uh, the stuff I find out and about in the wild, wild west of the world. Sure. Uh, it's basically a, a copy of all the stuff I picked up for insurance purposes. Uh, what have I picked up lately? There's the Admiral Akbar I got today. Uh, Blazing Skies I got for $20. Uh, Blazing Skies is cool. Not a bad, not a bad pickup. It's a shmup, isn't it? Uh, a little shooty Yarp. shooty. Uh, Blazing Skies, cool little game there. You can also see the e-reader cards that I got as part of my collection. Uh, and then there's just a video of, of some of my stuff, some of my things. Uh, if you are looking for a place to rob... <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't dox me. Uh, and there's, yeah, there's the other cards that I got with the other games. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty great things. If you type in Floppy Plays Games there, Jazz... Oh, I wouldn't bother. Wow. Yeah, what's the point? Like, really? I mean, you, you've had your bit. Had your turn. Rough. You, 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 you weren't uh, quick enough to... You, to, you little bit jello, mate. ...to jump on... The old badgering bad wagon that is me. A little bit, a little bit jello. Why am I jello? Just good. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's another thing I got. This uh, is the the Bioshock collector's edition. If you can click on that, yeah, we go and then flick through some of those. This was a this was a gift. A from gift a friend, from a friend. I got the Bioshock two collector's edition. Wow. It is minty fresh. Wow. And uh, it's funny because at the last fair that we were at, mm. I was eyeing off one of those for that was being sold for more than I would have been comfortable paying with, but I almost did it anyway. Wow, really? Yeah, I almost did it. And then uh, my closest ones from today uh, was the Code Veronica and the Manhunt in that first pick. Yeah, there. So I picked those up today. Nice. All complete with manuals, and I was really, really stoked. And then finally, you can head on over to Instagram.com backslash Bad Game Arts. That's Bad Game Art with an S on the end, because Bad Game Art was already taken by some dude who hasn't used his account in four years, and I messaged him, <laughs> and he wouldn't message me back and give me his goddamn account. But that doesn't matter. Bad Game Arts, where I put up some of the worst and most cringy art of uh, the early 90s and, and early 2000s. Um, Jazz... Can we get your uh, your reaction to some of this awesome art? Jazz is an artist, like a right proper artist. Yeah, I've seen Jazz's art. So if you want to just it's click on one, really good. Click on one at, a, at random there, Jazz, and just just tell us your, your thoughts. What do you think about the light sources in this fantastic game called The Detective for the Commodore sixty four? Light sources plural. Yeah. How many light sources are there? There's a few. <laughs> <laughs> You, it's, not, it's not terrible. It's actually more like where his head is placed. What's wrong with his, with his On, head? It looks like he's, he's got a floating head. Well, he does. There's a random jacket and then there's like a floating gun. And that's, the, that's the twist. It's three people standing in the same spot. He's just, <laughs> it's a bit. Look at his spine. Look at that mystery man's spine. Yeah. How, how good scoliosis. 
don't know. And click on another one, Jazz. Just, just, just one more. There might be. Bring up, bring it. There you go. What do you think of old Karnov there? Ah. Uh. Do you like necks? Because <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> do you like muscles that don't actually exist? Hmm. Do you like really dumb moustaches? <laughs> <laughs> the moustache is the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Yeah. And, and and one more, one more. Let's one have more. Uh, pick it. Watch that. Just pick. Just. Oh, the one to the left. Yeah, that one. What do you think about Sonya Blade's spine? Yeah, that. That's not how that works. What about Kano's <laughs> big ass forehead? <laughs> Why does he look like a Dick Tracy villain? <laughs> They're actually not that bad. Are you kidding me? They're not well. Completely just made all of Ben's uh, work redundant. It's, <laughs> it's done by someone very enthusiastic that just hasn't done any. It's done by failed comic book artists. It's done by the no. uh, bloody uh, intern. Oh crap, kid! We need a cover. Quick, no, draw some. It's just yeah, it's. It's a, it's not that bad. <laughs> so if you want to check out uh, some of the not bad, bad game arts, head on over to <laughs> hackthedino.com and, and click on the thing that's there, I think. It's if not, kind of all right. I don't mind it. Instagram, okay. that's good because I've got a 20-foot uh, poster blown up. It's going to hang above our bed. It's more like there's, there are different sizes as well as they come forward to, which is... Well, Kano must be very forward with that forehead. Um, yeah. But we've been Hack the Dino. This has been our gaming cast. We we would like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts, where all the cholesterol uh, lives. From the cockles of our hearts. That's it. Uh, and and uh, would like to leave you with these parting words, Floppy. Uh, tuberculosis. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, management. Lung. Manage your black lung. Yep. Uh, no, plethora. Mm-hmm. Manage your black lung. Plethora. Great words. These are excellent words. Take these words and and and, and, and keep them close to your heart. Yeah. Keep just just above the, the oh. left ventricle. Cockle. Cockle. Yep, that's a good word. Say, like cockle as in fishing cockle? Or, sure. Or whatever it is in regards to heart. Because mm. we only know that word from the Dennis Leary Arsehole song. Correct. The cockles of your heart. So um, you know, we're uh, a bit, a bit oh, out. another good word mm. is uh, menagerie. Oh I know menagerie. that's where three people sort of get Together. Yeah. Mena- sure. Menagerie. Menagerie. Uh, yeah. What about quidnunk? Which one? What's a quidnunk, Jazz? It's someone, it's like a brown noser type person. Like, it's someone that puts puts their nose in other people's business. Mm. In, when it into has other people's what? With them. It in their, right up in their people. business. Yeah. Right up it's, in their business. It's not a nice <laughs> name. It's, yeah, it's basically a brown noser. So that's quidnunk is something for everyone to learn. It's a new word. We're done. Okay. <laughs>